Hello, and welcome to this CUBE conversation. I'm Shelley Kramer, Managing Director and Principal Analyst at the CUBE Research, and I am thrilled I'm here today at the AWS Summit in New York City, and I am joined by two amazing people, Brian Bohan, who's the Director of AWS Global Consulting Partner, COE, and Deloitte J.B. McGinnis, who is the AWS Alliance Partner, and our conversation today is going to be about the partnership between Deloitte and AWS, which is all about helping to speed AI innovation. So who's not excited about that, yeah. right? Right. Well, it's been a fantastic event today and I have sort of, you know, the benefit of some insider information. So that's why I come to this conversation very excited. But to me, you know, it's obvious that with the AWS tech stack and the partner programs and Deloitte's industry expertise, this partnership is amazing, it's unique, and, and really, truly, I mean, there are a lot of people who are coming to market with, you know, sort of a goal of transforming, uh, you know, AI operations and helping to speed innovation, but seriously, like two of the biggest players out there partnering to do that is certainly something to be excited about. So, Brian, I want to set the stage a little bit Talk with us, if you would, about how GenAI is impacting your customers and their buying decisions. Absolutely. Well, so first of all, I'm super happy to be here, so thank you. Uh, I would say, and this is not going to come as a surprise, what we're seeing is actually a ton of enthusiasm and excitement from our customers. And what's also interesting is it's really uh, pushing the conversation increasingly, which is already happening, but increasingly into the line of business and into the C-suite. So we're really seeing business owners step forward and really want to embrace this technology to transform their business processes, their customer experiences, create co-worker situations that make all of their employees that much more efficient. And so there's this demand for this technology, which they can access in their personal lives. They want to make that happen in the enterprise as well. Mm -hmm. Now, we also know then, you know, with AWS, we have a very strong foundation with the technology community within our customers. And we also know that if you want to do this at scale, well, there are certain things that you need to do around the right. data, around guardrails, around you know safety measures. And you know, with Deloitte and with the tools that we bring to the table, we think it's an amazing combination to meet the customer where they are, those business leaders who are so enthusiastic to experiment, try new things, to find new use cases, and then in partnership with their technology colleagues and their customers deploy the right tools so they can do that in a safe, responsible way so we can really achieve something at scale. Yeah. You know, this everything that's happening today reminds me a little bit of the early days of digital transformation when that was all we talked about. Yeah. You know, helping to accelerate your digital transformation mm -hmm. journeys. And part of the secret to success back then was, you know, finding you know, your early um, adopters and getting them excited and then having use cases that you could share. And then all of a sudden what happened was that you started seeing the C-suite going, um, give me some of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so it seems like that's the stage that we're at right now. It's that those senior executives are really realizing how transformational AI in, in general and Gen AI in particular can be. So I think it's a, an exciting time and it's not limited to the boardroom anymore, which I think is makes it even more exciting. Yeah. So um, I would love to know from you, JB, more about, you know, I know that there's a great, you know, swath of industry focus. Tell us a little bit if, uh, more about the industries that you're focused on and, and really where we're starting to see some traction. Sure. So it's, it's really across the board. You know, public sector is, is, is really embracing the technology, but it, it spreads the gamut from life sciences and healthcare, financial services, media and entertainment. We actually have an event today. It's an advisory board, all focused around Gen AI, where we've got clients, AWS clients uh, and Deloitte clients here to talk about what they're doing, how they're adopting, right? So it's, I, I would say it's agno agnostic to industry, but like Brian hit, hit on, you know, it's it's the business lines. And, you know, we're, we're focused on specific industries, subsectors within those industries, uh, the business lines that make these decisions, but also the workloads that matter, right? So we can go out and create industry solutions together with Amazon to solve these trends and issues that our, our clients are facing. You know, I thought well, it was really great that, you know, I realized that this is the analyst day, right? And then tomorrow we'll have the regular event. But what was really smart strategically, um, so props to whoever put this event together, but um, starting the morning 
with those customer cases and sharing specific examples of here's what we're doing or you know some of those customers have been on the early edge of this sort of thing but being able to showcase those results i thought was really impactful from from an audience standpoint so so my next question is you know this is for both of you i'll start with you though brian what's unique about this partnership between aws and deloitte yeah, so I, I think when I when I think about this partnership and I and in my role I get to see a lot of different partnerships. And so what I really like about this partnership is you know, if you think about like really three components. So at the very foundation of this, there's this like strong foundation of trust and shared culture. And so when we show up together in front of a client, and I'm with some other partnerships, there's a lot of like back room trying to figure out how we're gonna work together to deliver value to the client. Right. When we show up, we're already really well aligned, yeah. and it's really about solving that customer's, that client's job, yeah. right? That's that's the first thing. The second thing is there, you've got to come to the table with something really focused, differentiated, and like you said, unique, right? And so, you know, as JB mentioned, industry, super important, right? And as we extend, as we just talked about the Gen AI conversation into the line of business, it's not a technology conversation. It's a very domain-specific right. conversation, right? And we're seeing what Deloitte is putting together with uh, the suite for CFO, for for instance. Very impressive. Right, exactly. Yeah. And so not only is it an industry, but it's a persona, right? Yeah. This kind of buyer persona. And being able to like bring this together with the partnership is something that's really valuable to us. So that's highly differentiated. And the other thing that I think is super important, and it's impressive given Deloitte's size and scope and scale, is their ability to be creative and move really fast. Yeah. So we, you know, JB and I were together in New York with their healthcare team, and we were seeing this big opportunity on the provider side around end-to-end -end patient services transformation, you know, infused and powered by AI. And it was like well, two weeks later, we had a full offering on the table that we wanted to go out and pursue together. We had a, a pipeline of clients, and one client in particular that we were already delivering this proposal to. Yeah. And this was like from two weeks from let's get together and talk about it to actually making it happen. So that agility is really unusual and something that we really prize. Well, I think that that's uh, an important an important variable in the business market in general today. You know, I don't have six months to stand this up. You know, and so being speed to speed to market, all of that sort of thing. And, and you know, I think yeah. you've talked about this a little bit, JB, you know, the competitive advantage that companies who really immerse themselves in this stand to be able to experience is a, is a very big deal. Um, I will confess that during that, you know, I already knew about the CFO solution, CFO insights, but I was literally sitting in the audience just a little bit ago texting my good friend who's a C CFO going, oh, my God, wait until until I show you what's possible, you know, so it really is exciting. So, JB, what are your thoughts about what makes this alliance unique? You know, I think it's, you know, Deloitte has been so focused on serving the industries and, and really understanding the, the difficult um, situations and issues that the, the industries are facing, right? So being able to go take a step back, think through that and, and create industry solutions to help solve that is, is, is really fundamental to the way that we go to market together with Amazon. Um, you know, but I also think that the, the cultures are aligned, like Brian said, you know, we, because of our industry focus, because of the tech that the innovation coming out of Amazon, when you combine those, our, our clients feel it, right? And a lot of times we're in meetings together with Amazon and client sometimes can't tell who's Amazon and who's Deloitte. And, yeah. and that's that's success yeah. from my perspective. No, I absolutely, I absolutely agree. So JP, I know that I've had the benefit of a little bit of an insider seat here today being at the analyst portion of this event. But I, and so I know that the number of investments you're making here are pretty significant, but I'd love for you to walk our audience a little bit through some of the major investments that you're making in the Gen AI space and really what's kind of ahead. Sure. So I think I'd like to start with one that uh, hit the press today, and it's specifically around going to make the market, not not proof of concepts, workloads that are are headed towards production. Right? Amazon is making a significant investment into Deloitte to to go make that market, and in, and in return, we are we are delivering that value for the client and to Amazon. So we're super excited about uh, what just got launched today. But also internally, you know, whether it's our, the, the Gen AI studio where we've created this library of quals, it's, that was a big investment 15 months ago that started. Now we have this library of industry use cases that we can take across market and create the ripple effect. So Gen AI studio is a, is a big investment from Deloitte. 
also just the, the the learning and development in that process that we've gone through to stand up our our AI's academy, right? And so so that we can start to really teach our people and bring them along this journey as well, so that when they're out in front of clients, they're conversational and and seeking to learn as well. Yeah, and I don't know, forgive me, I don't remember if it was you who mentioned this or if it was one of the other speakers here in the last couple of hours, but there's, speaking of that commitment to Gen AI literacy, um, it was really impressive to hear some of the numbers in terms of, I think you mentioned, you know, there's a month's period of time where you give people on an annual basis to kind of learn and grow and, you know, enhance their skills and things like that. But touch on that for just a moment, if you would, some of some of what you've committed to in terms of teaching your employees, you know, what this is all about and how they can become proficient at it. And I'd, I'd love to hear a little bit more sure. about that. Sure. So so in the creation of that AI Academy, right, we, we were able to establish curriculum together with Amazon to be able to to teach our, our practitioners that are out there serving clients, right? So it's a big investment of, of time and, and uh, an opportunity for our people to, to really scale and, and learn the Amazon uh, Gen AI offerings and how to create and bring that industry lens back to their client to serve them. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Brian, we're talking about AI competency, Gen AI competency. How is that a differentiator in the eyes of the customer? Yeah. And so taking a step back and just think about the competency program more broadly at AWS, and we've had that for a number of years, we have a number of competencies, and we get consistent feedback from customers as well as research that says that customers really do value these competencies. Right. They bake them into RFPs, they do look at them when they're considering which partner to use. And so for the Gen AI competency, we moved very, very quickly as the space was moving very quickly, and yet we kept a really high bar on the competency, right? So. Training, we're just talking about enablement and training, right? So that means not only do we need partners that are trained and enabled on the AWS product stack, so SageMaker and Bedrock, et cetera, and that is a key part of that, right? So you have to have so many different associates that are trained and certified on that, on that stack. That's a super important piece. Another one is we need demonstrated success at customers, right? And this is a really, especially in a space that is, what so say, everyone says early innings, right? right? Still very new. And these yeah. aren't POCs and pilots. This has to be actual production workloads or production projects that are really adding value at the client. So we need at least four of those to even get into the competency. Okay. And what we love about the competency is it creates this intimacy, right? And this is so important. And we talk about the agility piece that we like mm -hmm. about the partnership. This is where this comes in, right? Is that we need to constantly be learning. So now we stood up this um, AI innovation lab together, right? As right. part of today's announcement. This is where we're going to be bringing clients in, experimenting with AI, with new technologies like quantum and using bracket, you know, and really pushing the envelope, learning, and then feeding that back into the product lifecycle. So as a Gen AI competency partner, we foster that intimacy. Yeah. And we also give Deloitte and the other competency partners deeper insight into what's coming down the pike, right? Because they're right there answering questions and addressing challenges with customers. We want to make sure they're armed, not just with what's available today, but what's coming tomorrow so they can properly advise their, their clients to the right path, right? So all of this really creates a ton of value, I think, for the partnership, but most importantly for our drilling customers. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So I'd love a little overview from you, if, if you'll indulge me, on how the AWS guardrails and Deloitte audit manager framework is helping clients as they work to evaluate Gen AI proof of concepts and, you know, audit solutions and all of that sort of thing. And you mentioned, you know, reliability and trustworthiness and that sort of thing. But if you don't mind touching on that, that would be really great. Yeah. And so this is, you know, again, as we move increasingly from a world of pilots and POCs and like the pilots and POCs are not going to stop, right? Because yeah. there's so many use cases and there's so much experimentation. Yeah. But as we move into production, the guardrails become so important, right? And so we can think about guardrails both on the model side and as well as on the prompt side. So we need to be able to put in place the right content filters. We need to be able to make sure that PII can either be allowed or blocked depending on the use case. We need to make sure that inappropriate speech doesn't rear its ugly head in the responses. And at the same time, on the prompt side, we need to be able to put guardrails in place there to continue to guide the people. Because again, we want to democratize this technology, but we want to do it safely, right? And so the way we're handling that is through our product suite, through Bedrock guardrails, um, through SageMaker, right? So those are the tools we're providing. And I think what we saw today is when Deloitte steps in, it takes that and goes another step forward. So not only is it using the controls and the guardrails in the, in the platform, it's using that as a starting point. 
And then it's further contextualizing it for the industry and for the regulatory environment by extending, you saw that today, it's not just like filters on the prompts, it's actually giving you the prompts that you should be using. And they only can do that because of the deep domain expertise they have, right? And the same thing on the fine tuning on the model. So think of that as we're providing the tool set, which we're gonna continue to innovate and evolve. And Deloitte will be building that domain specific mm -hmm. guardrail on top for the regulatory environment and for the specific industries. It's a perfect match, yep. some might say. <laughs> All right, as we wrap, I want, would love each one of you to just share a, okay, so somebody is, you know, somebody in the C-suite is, um, comes across this information from this event, maybe is at, at the event or watching something online or reading something online. What is the, they haven't really started on their journey yet and they're trying to get things in place internally and they're a little worried, you know, I mean, it is a scary beginning, right? Mm -hmm. So what advice do you have somebody for someone who's at the beginning stages of their journey, ready to dive in, what's your best piece of advice? Start, start. <laughs> you, know, you have to find a few use cases that yeah. can create tremendous value for the organization, but also tremendous value for your downstream downstream clients or customers, yeah. right? And and you know, if you think about cloud 15 years ago, it's it's a very similar kind of storyline. What about security? What about regulations? How, how do I how do I adopt this change? And so the, that same kind of storyline rings true with generative AI today. Yeah. Yep. You don't know what you, this is my favorite dad line. You don't know what you don't know until you know. Right. And the only way you can know is to start. Yeah. Okay, what about you, Brian? Oh, I love that. I, 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 love, I love the start one. We, we always like that. I would yeah. also say start, but I also like, I wouldn't get so wrapped up in, I guess, again, if you're a C-suite business line leader, don't get so wrapped up necessarily in the technology. Think about what are the really hard business problems that you need to solve that today to, to, uh, to this point have been intractable. You just haven't really been able to do it, whether that's because the data hasn't been accessible and if the data were accessible, you don't think you could actually run a query or aggregate the data in a way that would provide you the insights that you would need to solve this business problem. So go after some of those problems that are really difficult to solve um, and then work with the right partner to say, okay, what does it take from a technology point of view, a data point of view, a governance, all, all of that, right? So like think that way, but that's hard, right? Yeah. Super important also to figure out a couple that are low hanging fruit yeah. that are, that are, you know, again, in the coworker realm or the ones that are just productivity or, you know, you know, and to your point earlier, we all are struggling with this, this inundation of so much data, so much information, impossible to keep up with it all. If you had a coworker that was Gen AI powered, what could they absorb? What could it absorb and aggregate and synthesize and then provide to you an insights? It's low. It's it's you know it's low impact. It's lower risk. It's internal use. You learn as you go while you develop the bigger, more strategic, more transformative use case that's going to make you, help you solve problems in ways you couldn't do that before. Yeah, that makes sense. I think that my advice is it really goes back to the importance of finding and working with trusted vendor partners. And you have found that with each other, right? And you offer that to your customers. Um, but I think sometimes somebody, I was at an event here a couple of weeks ago and, and um, one of the speakers said, you know, I'm an engineer. Engineers want to engineer. We want to build stuff, right? The, the, I personally don't believe that the right path forward when it comes to Gen AI, you don't have to build all this yourself. And if you, think that that's the path you need to go, I think your journey is going to be much longer. And so to me, the beauty of working with trusted vendor partners is that I get the benefit of you're already working with these, you're already working with customers. You know what the challenges are that I haven't even thought about. So you bring all of that expertise and all of that knowledge and all of that to the table and you shorten my time to value. So to me, what spe specifically when it comes to this kind of initiative, Gen AI, I, I mean, you know, really that trusted vendor partner is what makes the magic happen, so. And, and the investment, I mean, that, that's yeah. why we're investing, right? So we're investing in building the capabilities and the solutions so that when we start and engage with the customer, we're further down the field. Right. Exactly. Yeah, makes perfect sense. Well, to our viewing and listening audience, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And thank you to Brian Bohan and Jamie McGinnis. You guys have been awesome. It's really been a fantastic event. And again, thank you so much for reading or for watching and listening. And we'll see you again next time.